Okay, so we've been working with the Foundation Services Timeout Driver. Here we're going to look at the payload code snippet and see how we can send a payload to this driver. The current situation is that we have a pin change interrupt where we start a one-shot timer which times out after a second. So we're going to do a couple of things. We are going to go to the timeout driver and instead of a periodic mode, we're going to set a payload that shall generate a, an example of how to use it in this mode. And we're going to go to the pin module. We are not going to use this as a switch. We're going to use it as an output. Start low for both of them. Remove the pull up and the interrupt. Okay, so this is everything we're going to do. Force update on all, generate, and we're going to replace everything in main. Timeout example, we had nothing. It's now going to get the new example. And there's going to be a pin manager. So we changed some of the settings here. We set input to output. And at the end, we removed the interrupt. So yes, we want these updates. Okay, so going back to the project, we have timeout example and we are not going to analyze it too much here we're just going to copy and paste this into main cut and paste into main because we don't want redefinition of functions okay now timeout examples so we're going to call this example here okay let's have a look at what's happening here we have a time account, we have a time extract, which is associated with certain values which we're populating, and let's have a look at that structure. So placing it here next to... Okay, so here's our time extract. So first of all, it's a pointer to the callback handler. You can see that that's what we're passing here. So we initially populate the structure with a pointer to the callback handler. Then we have a payload, which is also a pointer to the value of timeout counter. Timeout create handles the last two elements of the structure, adding the timer to the queue and starting the timer with the number of ticks before the timeout expires. Here we're going to set our initial timeout of three seconds, and we're going to reschedule this timer every 500 milliseconds. Okay, so now both of our debug GPIO are low, so we can use debug GPIO zero and set that high as we enter the handler, and then we're gonna set it low as we exit this handler for the last time and then debug GPIO 1 is low and we're going to toggle this every time we go through. Okay so let us program And you can see that we have a three second initial delay. Okay, and let's use some cursors. And you can see that that is about three seconds. And here we have about 500 milliseconds. So there we have it, a timeout example with a payload.